epilogue versus extolling the way to the beyond this is what the blessed one said while dwelling among the magadhans at the pasana kachetiya when entreated by the 16 attendant vahins and questioned by each he answered their questions if one understand the meaning of the teaching in the each of these sections of questions and practices in accordance with the dhamma one would go beyond old age and death since these teaching lead beyond this exposition of dhamma is designated the parayana the way to the beyond ajita tisse metteya punnaka and mettagu dotaka and upasiva nandan also hemaka dotaya and kapp and the vaisya tukani vajabuddu and udaya and the brahman pozala the intelligent mogavaja and the great rishi pingiya the approach the buddha the rishi of excellent conduct asking subtle questions they came to the supreme buddha when asked the questions by them the buddha answered in accordance with truth with his answers to their questions the muni satisfied the brahmins satisfied by one with a vision by the buddha kingsman of the sun they live the spiritual life under the one with excellent wisdom if one would practice in the way they were taught by the buddha in response to the each their questions one would go from near shore to the beyond developing the supreme path one would go from the near shore to the beyond that path is for going to the beyond therefore this is called the way to the beyond verses recited about the way to the beyond i will recite the way to the beyond said the venerable pinkie as he saw it just so he expounded it the stainless one the one of broad intelligence for what reason would the naga desireless disentangled speak falsely come now let me explain the beautiful utterance of the one who has abandoned stays and delusion who has abandoned conceit and denigration the dispeller of darkness the buddha the generous ally who has gone to the world's end transcended all existence the one without influxes who has abandoned all suffering who is truly named a brahmin he is served by me as the bird that has left behind all small woods might settle upon a forest abounding in fruit just so having left those of little vision i am like a goose that has arrived at a great lake those who in the past explained things to me before my meeting with gotama's teaching saying such it was such it will be all that was you say all was an increase of thought the dispeller of darkness seated alone the brilliant one the mark of light gotama of broad wisdom gotama of broad intelligence he is the one who taught me the dhamma directly visible immediate the destruction of craving without adversity for which there is no smile anywhere why do you dwell apart from him even for a moment open here from gotama of broad wisdom from gotama of broad intelligence the one who taught you the dhamma directly visible immediate the destruction of craving without adversity for which there is no smile anywhere i do not dwell apart from him even for a moment o brahmin from gotama of broad wisdom from gotama of broad intelligence the one who taught me the dhamma directly visible immediate the destruction of craving without adversity for which there is no smile anywhere heedful of brahmin night and day i see him with my mind as if with my eyes i pass the night paying homage to him hence i don't think i am apart from him my faith and rapture mind and mindfulness don't depart from gotama's teaching to whatever direction the one of broad wisdom goes i pay homage to him in the same direction since i am old and feeble my body does not travel here but i go constantly on a journey of thought for my mind brahman is united with him as i lay trembling in the mud i floated from island to island then i saw the enlightened one in flux free who has crossed the flood the buddha as wakali has sent forth faith and bhadra buddha and alavi gotama 
just so you too must send forth faith. In Pingiye, you will go beyond the realm of death. Pingiye, I am pleased even more, having heard the word of the Muni. The enlightened one, with covering reward, is not barren, gifted with ingenuity. Having directly known about Devas, he understood everything, high and low. The teacher is the end maker of questions. For those in doubt who acknowledge this, the immovable, the unshakable, has no smile anywhere. Surely I will go there. I have no doubt about this. Thus remember me as one with minds resolved. The Sutta Nipata is completed. <laughs>